Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Been busy all day again at the fire station. We've, we're making progress, I'm telling you. You know, I, I mentioned, um, well, when I was telling you about it, how uh, one of the big things was the furnace wasn't working. Uh, well, one of our guys uh, came over that had some experience of working with them. And he got it working. There wasn't anything wrong with it other than we think that maybe a connection was just not connected. You know, it was a little corrosion, a little dirt, and it just wasn't making a connection. And it's working. So now the furnace is working and didn't cost us a penny to fix. So that is a huge blessing. Um, even though it's warmed up now that we technically wouldn't need it. Winter's certainly not over. Uh, so now we have a functioning furnace that the building can stay warm when we need it. Uh, that is a huge blessing. Um, we are, over the next few days, we'll be ordering stuff to fix it, plumbing. Uh, we had a, a, a guy that's volunteering his time for uh, to fix the plumbing. So we're going and buying some of the materials. He gave us a material list. We have a material list for lumber and things like that. And over the next few days, a week, we'll be purchasing a lot of that. And we're hoping that by next week, we'll be actually doing some a lot more of the rebuild. So this is exciting, very, very exciting stuff going on. Um, I don't think it'll be too much longer, uh, maybe just a few weeks before, and I'll give you more updates, but I think maybe just a few more weeks, we'll be seeing a, a much different new uh, building. We still have to work on those overhead doors. That's gonna take a lot more money, but um, we're, we're excited to make it this far this fast, so. And I want to thank all of you for that. Also, I want to mention before I get to this the, the actual video today, um, this weekend, this Sunday is our local meeting. And if you've been before and you haven't been in a while, I encourage you to make this one because you'll be getting a lot more information about what we're doing locally as a group. Some major changes. Exciting. Not bad. Major good changes. Um, we're, we're trying to make the actual monthly meeting better. Uh, we're, we're really, uh, we wanted to start this year off 2024 with a, a, a major improvements and everything. So I encourage you to come if you haven't been in a while. And um, if you've never been and you want to come, email me and I'll get with you about those details. So that is this Sunday. Um, and the meeting starts at 2, but we open the doors at around 11. People can come early and mingle. There's a potluck. People bring stuff. It's great. We have an open market, little children's craft area, uh, seed bank, all kinds of stuff. So so it's not something to miss. I, I know it's going to sound some pretty doom and gloom, and, and I really hate being the doom and gloom. I, I, I want to advise and inform people, but I don't want to spark fear in fact, today, the video I po posted over on the locals was the exact opposite of being cautious about around being around too many people that are negative and down and depressive and, and fearful because we don't want to surround ourselves with just that. We want to shine our light, but we also want to have our buckets filled with positive, uplifting, um, you know, attitudes and stuff. So, but anyways, the, the fact is, is that things are not looking so good on global affairs. And I'm going to miss all a bunch of this, I know. But um, uh, the United Kingdom, the military, the generals are speaking much more sternly and, and seriously about the British people need to get themselves prepared. We just heard it a few days ago from the NATO military chief. And then now uh, Great Britain is really pushing that, even calling for a citizen's army for the people to mobilize and get ready. Uh, stock up, prepare, mentally get ready. Um, in the United States, there's rumors that the United States is going to pull in Afghanistan and in, in Syria and tuck tail and run. I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing, but uh, they're they're concerned that there's just too much aggression and too much danger for our troops there, and there's a possibility we may be pulling out of Syria, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's the optics is probably not going to look good. Um, the, the Houthis in Yemen are telling the Americans and British um, embassy or uh, uh, diplomats to get out. They've told them to leave. They want them out. Um, and so that's happening. Uh, Israel has stated, uh, or at least it, officials within the Israeli government, that now Iran Iranian targets are real targets. They're, they're viable, they're legitimate, and that they can be targeting those uh, things soon. Um, there, there's there's several other things. I saw something interesting that the European Central Bank, uh, European Union, the central bank there, 
has requested that social media companies um, start monitoring the possibility of bank runs on social media accounts. That one's probably a scarier one. Uh, they're, they're wanting to know when the bank runs start, which means that they may be starting soon. You know, if they're telling them that because they think they might start in 10 years, that's unlikely. If they're telling them that, it's because they might think that those start over the next weeks or months. That's just a logical kind of thought. Basically, none of it sounds really good right now. Uh, that's why I tell you all the time, we got to focus on home, ourselves, and our community. Because the outside news, what's going on on the broad scale, is pretty bad. It, you know, it, this, this, it's this Agenda 2030 World Economic Forum Great Reset Beast System. It's all happening. Um, it's not really worthy of crying about. Um, it, it's happening and we've got to prepare ourselves for it. And so that's one of the that's that's the big thing of what we got to do. We know these things are are worsening. Um, the, the likelihood that we're past the point of no return, I think, is is pretty good. And I think a lot of you are starting to realize that. Some of you are still holding out hope that maybe we're not there yet, and you could be right. Um, but isn't it safe to to you know playing it on the safe side of preparing as if we are past the point of no return, because things are moving pretty rapidly around the world. Not looking so good. Um, Texas is heating up even more. You know, you heard the Supreme Court ruled that Texas, well, they can't secure the border, that the Border Patrol has the right to go in and cut the fences and that kind of stuff. Well, the Texas National Guard has basically given the Supreme Court the finger and they're still doing it. And now Greg Abbott has issued a proclamation of some sort. Um, stating that the states have a right to defend themselves and protect themselves against a uh, unconstitutional, unruly president. Uh, and so it's it's sounding very, very close to kind of a, a declaration of se secession. I'm not saying I completely believe that's what's going to happen with, with Texas, uh, but it's definitely looking kind of strange there. That, that the part that Hannah is may not work out like some people think is that Texas has had a lot of a lot of liberals moving in it's it's not as staunchly and strongly conservative as it once were was so um that may change things but it's certainly not looking good at least the optics of it and things are heating up there as of course just thousands and thousands and thousands a day are pouring across the border this is why we have to prepare ourselves. Spiritual preparedness is the most important. That's what you should do first. Um, get your heart right. And get your get yourself as the, the as spiritually prepared. When I say that, you know, reading scripture, praying, seeking righteousness, building a closeness with the Father and His Son. Um, mental preparedness. It, it, this, there's a lot of psychological stuff. It's hard. It's going to be harder for us mentally, to watch things happen, to see things drastically change. Our, our world, our environment will be different than we've ever seen before uh, in, our, in our lifetime. And we're going to watch loved ones fall away and, and, and buy into the big system that's being developed around us and pushed on us. And then, of course, the physical preparedness. That's, that's the stuff you need, the, the food, the water, the beans, the bullets, that kind of thing. But it's also physically getting yourself in better shape and physically building out your, your home and your homestead and self-sufficiency and physically building out a community um, around you and strengthening that. It, that it's, it's all one big thing together. Uh, if we do that, it, we're going to fare a lot better than others. We're, we are. There's no guarantees, but it's certainly a, a better insurance than what most people will have. And we need to be doing it and doing it quickly because it's it's becoming more apparent every day. Uh, it, it's like there's really not a slow news day anymore. There's always something that's that's moving us closer and closer to that, that end point. And... Um, it, it seems to be picking up speed also. We need to get prepped up, folks, taking it serious and, and moving probably a little faster than we have in the past. Folks, it's time to get your houses in order and get prepared mentally, physically, spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.